So good morning my beautiful people now we shall discuss a little bit about the zodiac signs the zodiac signs which which we are going to expand a little bit on so that you can get you can see the chart over here the pie chart and now we are talking about the inner circle the inner belt as i'm pointing out here right the inner belt 1 to 12 signs <clears throat> Now these, as per Vedic astrology, are classified into three parts: the movable signs, the blue ones, which is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. They are movable; energy moves in them. Then there's the yellow ones, which are fixed, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay, the yellow ones. Just focus on the inner belt. What we are talking about, the inner belt only. We are not gone to the outer belt, which is nakshatras yet. We will come to that. And the maroon one, which is dual sign. Maroon ones are number three, which is Gemini. Number six, which is Virgo, as you can see here. Sagittarius, number nine, and Pisces, number twelve. So this is movable, fixed, and dual signs. Now, what does this mean? in terms of healing and in terms of all of these things that is shown here jobs travel health issues place of residence belief systems ideas and your general philosophy of life itself that's what it affects now in terms of that the basic fundamental principle so far as healers are concerned you need to understand certain things about the signs itself now for an aries ascendant this is the principles of vedic astrology okay for an, for an aries ascendant who themselves are the head is in the movable sign so they're changing and fluctuating their ideas all the time through life their fourth house cancer falls in their fourth house so areas pertaining to their life pertaining to what their home and family is home and mother is heart is will keep changing through life the seventh house spouse is also changing so they keep changing their ideas about relationships their relationships energy and dynamics might be changing with the business partner with the spouse and so on and capricorn which occupies their 10th house for an Aries ascendant, it will be career. The careers might be constantly changing. Now, why I'm saying this? Because it's a movable sign. So you need to understand one fundamental principle in zodiac astrology as this. The sign itself, these colors, these three types of colors that you see, movable, fixed, and dual, the sign itself carries an energy of being movable, constantly changing through life or fixed through life if it's a yellow one or if it's a maroon one dual means it keeps shifting between fixed and between movable sometimes it is fixed sometimes it is movable it goes between the fixed and movable the dual signs the signs itself provide an energy to an area of life depending upon where the ascendant is for example we took aries ascendant right Let's take Gemini as ascendant. Mercury rules the first house. For them, the house of career becomes, this is the seventh house, nine, eight, nine, ten. Pisces becomes the tenth house. So it keeps shifting for the Gemini ascendant in terms of career. Sometimes it is fixed, sometimes it is varying. For a period of life, it may be fixed. Five, six years, then they might change the job to something else for five, six years. You see what I'm saying? So this is shifting energy between movable and between fixed. Just taking a job as an example, job or career. That's for the Gemini ascendant. So it depends upon where the ascendant is and you count counterclockwise from here, whichever house it is, and then you'll know where the areas of life shift and change. That's one part of it. The second part of this mystery puzzle is that the planets occupying what I have written over here, the planets occupying constellations take on in part the qualities of that constellation. Constellation we are talking about the zodiac belt only here, not as nakshatras. Be careful how you interpret this. 
we are talking about Aries through Pisces, the 12 signs, the inner circle that I'm pointing to over here. Okay. So the zodiac belt itself provides an energy to an area of life. Now planets wherever they are placed is kind of solidifying that aspect of life. Planets give a solidification to your soul path, what you are trying to follow, what your soul has come here to do this lifetime in specific areas. So how this will play out? For the fixed movable dual signs of zodiac, this is how it plays out. It affects their jobs. Suppose your job is in a movable sign, your jobs will constantly be shifting and changing through life. Suppose it falls in the place of travel, your travels, you might be coming on and off in your jobs or in your travels. Suppose moon, moon is predominantly responsible for travel. The moon happens to be in the movable sign. You might keep traveling throughout life here and there. If moon happens to be in the 10th house, for example, for a Libra ascendant, sorry, 10th house for an Aries ascendant, then they might keep shifting or going abroad for their jobs all their life. It depends upon other planets also. I'm just giving a random example here. It might also affect the health issues. For example, some your health issues might be happening on and off through life. Okay, that might happen. You might have smaller acute illnesses come and go, come and go. Even health issues it will affect. Next is the place of residence. Are you living in your home country or in your home country also? Are you moving about in your career, in your jobs, place of residence? It might change your belief systems on and off because let's face it, what are beliefs? Beliefs are nothing but your ideas which kind of you solidify through life. In a fixed sign, you'll have very fixed belief systems about things. You, I believe so and so. I think so and so. I believe this is right. I believe that is wrong. And you stay fixed on that. Some people are very fixed about things. That's those yellow signs. If planets appear in those yellow signs, a person tends to become more fixed about what that planet represents. Remember, we spoke about psychology of planets. Let's just revisit the psychology of planets over here. Remember, this is the psychology of planets. And these are the rulers of different ascendants. Now, if, the, if you are talking about them in terms of... Where are we gone now? That, right? We were speaking about that. In terms of jobs, travel, place and beliefs, we were talking about beliefs your beliefs will keep shifting. If the person has Jupiter in Taurus, they will be very fixed about their ideas of wisdom, religion, philosophy, or whatever it is. They're fixed. It holds a fixed position. It's just the shifting of position between where your perspective is, where a soul's vantage point is. That's what planet solidifies in a chart. Okay, And that dictates the philosophy of life. Your philosophy of life, a philosophy of life not as in some great guru writing some great book. I'm talking about your personal philosophy of life. Your personal philosophy of life will be dictated either as fixed or as constantly changing or sometimes fixed for a certain period and sometimes varying at certain periods. So this is what we are talking about here. Okay. So keep this in mind because this affects every crucial area of life, the fixed science want to keep things fixed and if more planets in the chart sit in the fixed signs the person will be predominantly fixed in nature a movable one will be constantly shifting it constantly moving the energy let it be in body let it be in mind let it be in emotion let it be in place of residence and everywhere else all these areas of life which i have listed here right that's what it means <clears throat> so this is crucial as we go forward because wherever planet sits and I'll be doing the case studies further, keep watching. When we take this into consideration, you'll see more of this, how this plays out. When you see a real chart, you'll know how this plays out. Okay. So I'll leave you with this much for now. And next we will talk about, what shall we talk about? The rising signs, the quality of the rising signs. Take care, keep watching. Thank you for all your likes, your subscribes. Have a great day.